Once a year, Apple rolls out a major update to the iOS software that runs on all iPhones. Millions of devices will get major new features for free along with patches for security bugs and interface tweaks. After iOS 13 and its bad run of bugs, Apple fans have high expectations for the next update. The next update is iOS 14 and it's coming to your iPhone really really soon. iOS 14 is expected to be better than iOS 13 in every possible department. So which new features iPhone users are going to get? What is the release schedule and which iPhones will and won't be able to run the new OS? Let's figure out all these questions in today's video. So guys, I am Raj and now let's get in. Apple is working on a redesigned wallpaper settings panel for iOS 14, which includes images separated by categories and more. Now a Twitter user, Donglebook Pro has recently posted screenshots that show the new wallpaper settings panel from iOS 14 in action. Instead of showing all wallpapers together, users will be able to scroll through each collection to find a specific wallpaper more easily. These screenshots include classic strips, earth and moon, and flowers to offer better organization. Next up, Apple is developing a new interface for the iOS home screen in iOS 14. According to recent reports by 9to5Mac, the iPhone 14 home screen will include a new page that allows users to see all their application icons in a list view. This new page will include a list of all application icons. This new list view will include smart suggestions powered by Siri to suggest which applications you might be searching for based on time of day and location. This list will also include special sorting options so that it will be easier for the users to search any application. Next up, iOS 14 could include support for widgets. According to the same report from 9to5Mac, Apple is developing real widgets on the iPhone and iPad home screens for the first time in iOS 14. A new concept created by Parker imagines what that could look like for iPhone users. Parker's concept imagines a spring kit framework for developers to use when creating widgets for the iPhone home screen. In this scenario, developers could choose from three different kinds of home screen views for their applications. First one is a classic still icon. The second one is a new live icon that can show data or buttons. And the third one is a full size widget. Now that will be much informative as users will be able to get some basic info without actually opening the app. iOS 14 could also introduce AR that is augmented reality. Apple is developing a new app as a part of its work on iOS 14. This new app will allow users to get more information about the world around them by using an augmented reality experience on the phone. The AR experience would also be the part of Apple's forthcoming AR headset project. iOS 14 will also introduce better multitasking so that it will be more productive. Talking about the iOS 14 compatible devices, iOS 14 will be compatible with all of the same iPhones as iOS 13, including older devices like the iPhone SE and iPhone 6S. iOS 13 compatible devices are on your screen right now and almost all the devices mentioned here will be getting iOS 14. Now it's not clear if this rumor is accurate and the site who shared this list says that the list is not final and could change. And finally, let's talk about the release date. Taking hints from the past year, a new version of iOS, that is iOS 14, will be released in the fall of 2020. It's expected that a developer beta will be released in June at Worldwide Developers Conference 2020, that is WWDC. A public beta is also likely to follow a few weeks after the release of the developer beta. So with that, we are at the end of this video. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then like the video. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you have any questions regarding this topic, then feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as you leave and also press that bell icon so that you will be the first one to watch my videos. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.